I'm out here, man. Chicago night of comedy and the uh, the Hanukkah people. I don't want to miss race them, miss race them. The Hanukkah people is out here in a Hanukkah bag. White people do anything they want to do, and it's all right. It's all right. people do any fucking thing they want to do and I don't understand it I don't understand it I don't I don't understand it but here we are what's cracking what's cracking Lord Dave Dave Bradley corner classic shit we here uh I got a show tonight last minute show didn't know about it got reached out to by my homie Kadeem he like yo you trying to do the show somebody backed out like, fuck it I slide so Getting ready to go do this show at my buddy's here in Chicago. It's a nice spot. We're doing shit there for a minute, so it's always fun doing shows at my buddy. So uh, just take y'all through this process, man. Trying to do new material, working on new shit. Uh, got tired of doing some of the jokes I was doing. I'm like, I want to just work on brand new shit, explore new ideas, and, and writing new material and and working it out. It's like the most <laughs> anxiety inducing, exciting, most amazing shit in the world. So it's a headache, but it's the shit that come with it, right? What you gonna do? So let's now go. You can be the fake king or you can be the real king by heavy is the head. So uh, my hair looks insane. Uh, before a show start, I like to, you know what I'm saying? Go over. Yeah my jokes and things and just things that I've been writing and things that I've been journaling, you know, but to see where my head is and, and, and get it clear uh, in the shower. When I take my shower before the shows, uh, you know, I pray, you know what I'm saying? You got to pray sometimes, praying shit. You know, just, like, yo, just need a little patience, you know what I'm saying? Give me a little, give me a little extra talent tonight. You know what I'm saying? Give me a little extra courage. A little extra wit, you know. You gotta ask for these things, cause you just never know when you might need to pull some shit out the tube. Bro. So yeah, before the show, pray, eat, go over my jokes, smoke a little weed sometimes, sometimes, most of the time. Uh, you know, but we do what we do. So about to head to the show. Let's go. I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention that I got a check at the Laugh Factory that I got to go pick up. So on my way to the My Buddy Show, I'm about to go pick up a check from the Laugh Factory. And that's some important shit. So I'm going to make another video about that. But yeah, man, let's go. I'm here. Here at the Laugh Factory in Chicago. I'm about to walk in and go pick up my motherfucking check. Because I need every dollar. Rent was due today. So... Every penny counts. So I'm about to go pick this motherfucker check up. Got my grip. Got that head. Then leave. Nah. Uh got my fucking check. That's what it's all about. Got my fucking check. Need every dollar. Now I'm on my way to my buddies. And just go throw some shit at the wall, man. Throw some shit at the wall, see what happens. Hope some niggas laugh, but they don't. It's alright. They watch me and there it is right now. Okay, and then comes to the right now. It's a great friend of the room, a member of the family. Uh, he has a show coming up December 11th. Uh, it's Dave's Corner Classic. Please put your hands together for a very good friend of mine, Dave Bradley. You know, I'm set up there. Like I said, this whole shit is going to be a while by white people. I'm sorry. Um, I was at Dunkin' Donuts and shit, right? And I know normally it's Indian people there, but sometimes it's white people there. Um, <laughs> gotta cut my mic out when I start saying this shit. This is my future. I'm this shit. Shut that nigga up. Shut that nigga up. I was there looking for that other damn mute button. It's, you know, because we know he gonna say something today. Uh, yeah, another uh, homeless situation. I was at a red light. I'm around a lot of homeless people. I'm not homeless. This is just. <laughs> 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 That's how things have been going lately. 
fuck y'all running us through today? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the third most straight. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I pulled up to a red light, and this homeless white lady, she came up to my car with like these light up balloons and shit, right? She had like 20 light up balloons in her arm, and I'm like, all right. So she come and she knock on my window, and she like, yo, you wanna buy some balloons? I'm like, bitch, I'm trying to watch porn on my phone. Could you not, could you not right now? This is not a good time. Uh, <laughs> and what the fuck are you celebrating? Why, why you got so many balloons in the first place? <laughs> You don't find that suspicious? <laughs> Just finished the show, man. She was cool, bro. I always love and enjoy doing shows here at my buddies in Chicago. It's just a cool spot you get to just have fun, work out, try some shit out, throw some shit at the wall, and just see what the fuck happens. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I did. Did a whole new set, unscripted, unwritten, all new shit. Just trying shit, having a good time, man. That's that's what the fuck it's about. Sometimes, sometimes you get too, you know, you get too wrapped up and consumed in, in whatever, you know, image and brand and all this shit, and you don't be really trying new shit sometimes. So I'm like, nah, fuck that. I got tired of doing the same shit. You know, I just been challenging myself to do new shit, more shit, and having fun, man. Sometimes we get too we get too wrapped up in it, we forget to have fun. So that's what the fuck I did, man. So. Another good show in the books, man. Peace out.